Trapped in the race. What's up? I'm Justice, singing Trapped in the Race. Uh, Japan was awesome. We're here in Tokyo. We just played our last date. I can't believe um, 
people here, kindness, sweetest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, the shows were amazing. I can't believe Tokyo. All the bands in Japan are incredible. Night after night, every band is insane. Beautiful city, beautiful buildings. Beautiful people. Beautiful culture. Japan's a beautiful place. Yeah, beautiful girls. <laughs> Kunihide hit me up when uh, they came over to Baltimore for the first time and we played a show with them. It was really cool. All of our group of any friends we had that weren't aware of Japanese hardcore were really impressed. A lot of people were blown away. And uh, it's cool. Since then, <clears throat> we've become familiar with a lot more bands. Yeah. You know, Gorilla Crows, Rock Crimes, and uh, Face Cars, and some other bands that we've gotten to play with on this tour. In Japanese hardcore, bands are, um, you know, while, while being influenced by bands in, like, you know, in New York or Ohio, Baltimore, or wherever it may be, Japanese bands really have uh, developed their own sound, and, and I feel like it's really can't be beat by anything. It's, it's yeah. Japanese bands are the heaviest. That's we love it. Yeah. Musically, there's a lot of similarities between Baltimore hardcore and like Japanese hardcore. Musically, there's a lot of similarities. Um, currently, there's like some good younger bands. And there's still some good older bands, like Stout still plays a lot. Um, we got some new younger bands like uh, Mindset. Um, who else we got? Brick. Brick. Um, Turnstile, which is Brendan. Turnstile. Yeah. Brendan, our drummer's new band, he just started. A band called Sacred Love. Yeah, Sacred which, Love. Yeah. Yeah. Good mix of younger and older people. Yeah. Yeah, shows are good. Yeah, I'd say it's a good way to define Baltimore. It's a mix of older and younger generations. A lot of different people, a lot of diversity. Uh, with with mutual respect for each other, you know, and uh, that's the beautiful thing about hardcore is it attracts all different kinds of people: black, white, old, young, Japanese, American, European, Australian, whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, hardcore is a common bond that unites people from all over the place, different different ways, and I think Baltimore is a, a good representation of that on a smaller scale. That you know, all types of people from all walks of life come together and uh, can appreciate different things in the name of punk rock and hardcore music. Yeah. Um, we've been working on some music. We have five songs we demoed out for our own purposes and, and uh, we're just going to really just uh, focus on taking time writing music. Um, I feel like a lot of bands get into a, um, like a cycle of, of writing a record, recording the record, tour for a year, write a record, record a record, tour for a year. Uh, we wrote Secrets of the World in maybe about a year and a half, I guess. And I, we put about two years into writing our new music now. And we have five songs. We're still spending a lot of time writing. We have lots of little things we're piecing together. And uh, I just really, really want to make sure we put invest a lot yeah. of time into making a quality record that can back up what we, what we stand for as a band. Making the best TUI record of all time. Yeah the best TUI record possible. That's what it's going to be. We wouldn't want to let anybody <clears throat> down. Yeah. So as long as that takes. So either the best TUI record ever or just no TUI record, <laughs> you know? Yeah. We, we, we do have a plan. Um, we get home from this. We, we have a couple shows in December, late oh, yeah. December. I'll play some shows with H2O, Hey Breed, oh, Four Year Strong, mm -hmm. Polar Bear Club, wow. yeah. Chromax. Chromax. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. cool. Uh, we do we do those shows. It's four or five shows. Yeah, and that's all uh, Northeast, um, U.S. United mm -hmm. States, and then we have off basically till March, in which time uh, we should be going to Europe. That's the tentative plan. We'll go to Europe in March for two weeks, come home, do the U.S. for six weeks, and then from there, I think our next step would be probably finishing right yeah, in. Finish right the record. Come back to Japan. We'll tour Japan. 2012. Yeah. That's right. 2012, end of the world tour. Yeah. Bullhead Records, support it. Yeah. Tomei is the best in the world. Yeah. Thank you very much.